Catching Ransom and Roam the Streets. That one's called Kill All Rats. Uh, that would be like a Sopranos record. Yes. Uh, DNTE featuring Tony Boy and Dee Daly with Glass Slipper. Planet Asia and Dirty Digs featuring Rome Streets, Guns and Razors, um, aka Things You Find in Esco's Couch, <laughs> uh, DJ Muggs and Flea Lord, The Equation, and started off with Red Inf, like INF, Inf, INF. Uh, Opium Fields. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, good stuff in that. A lot of good stuff still to come. I still got a, a couple more digital underground songs I'm going to sprinkle in nice. um, throughout the show. Stuff you might not know that they did, but... Uh, or you still, might have forgotten. That's true, that's yeah. true. Well, I think I, I hit all the popular stuff yes. in that montage. Yes. Now, the next the next uh, ones I have are going to be, um, like, album cuts that you might have um, slept on or might not know about. Uh-oh. So, you know, a uh, few things on that, uh, on that end. But uh, before we get to news, anything else popping off in your world? Man, just uh, crypto, man. It's time to get in. You got to get in while you while it's affordable. You know what I mean? I mean, that's basically what I've been doing. I just investing, watching my money grow, trying to, you know, make sure I can stay retired for another 20 years, man. The only question I ever ask people about it is yeah. how do you access it? And nobody can give me an answer. Okay. So, you download a digital uh, app called Coinbase. You buy you $10 of Bitcoin. And then with that app, say you wait a week and you turn that $10 into $20, then you could go ahead and send that $20 into your bank account. You could cash out your Bitcoin and send that $20 to your bank account. Done deal. So you have to supply your routing number and all that. Yeah, it, to... er, it's just like anything with the SEC, any kind of investments. It's all legit. You have to, If you turn a profit, you have to pay capital gains on your profit now if you keep your investments for over a year you're subject to capital gains tax which would be 15 well before our current president it was 15 percent so on your dividends as long as you let them sit in there for a year after that year guess what you're only subject to 15 percent so you made 20 dollars and you and let it sit in there for a year and next thing you know it's 200 dollars. i was buying bitcoins when they were ten thousand a share right now they're at 55,000 a coin. Last week, they tanked at about 50 a share. The week before that, they were up $63,000 a coin. So if you would have bought a coin for $10,000 two years ago, today it's worth $55,000. So what you would do is... If you, you obviously would have so had to basic, keep that. Basically, basically, okay, two things, two mm -hmm. things, because mm -hmm. we got to get to the news. Yes, two yes. things. First of all, who are you? Because, <laughs> because you and I have had some of the stupidest conversations in the world, and then you come with something like that. Second, this basically sounds like a rich man's thing because. Yes. No, because, no. Because, I no, mean, no. a share starts at $10,000. No, they start at. Fifty-five thousand dollars a share, but with invest with this that, yeah. with this app, listen, you can buy fractional shares, which means, say, right now you had five dollars you wanted to invest. Well, guess what? You buy five dollars of a Bitcoin. That's a fractional share. You're still but that gets you nothing. Well, you're still going to turn that five into ten. But but still, you would, I, if you put that five in a bank, it would take you twenty years to turn that into a ten, and you still wouldn't turn that into a ten. But you the, would only, literally, the only way you make money from the way you're is, mm -hmm. uh, saying it is to buy an entire share. No, 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 no. And no, an entire share no, no, no. is fifty-five or whatever thousand dollars a coin. But say you bought five dollars a coin, right? You could you could buy fractional shares. So five bucks, you could turn that five into ten. Coinbase, check it out. Whatever. Do you, do and anything. we have the news. Let's see. Death Row Records will have a new owner after toy conglomerate Hasbro sold Entertainment One's music unit in a cash deal worth $385 million. An equity firm named Blackstone Now owns all musical artists and properties under E1's banner including the former label for Tupac, Dr. Dre, and Snoop. 
This transaction will ensure that E1 Music is well positioned to unlock great opportunities for its many talented artists and partners, as Hasbro continues to focus on the core strategic elements of their brand blueprint. Did you know that Hasbro owned Death Row Records? I do not understand how in any way anything associated with that label can still be making money. And you know who else was in that deal was included? The game, Wu-Tang Clan, En Vogue, Chuck Berry. I didn't know Chuck. Chuck Berry's gone, right? I think so. And Brandy. But, I mean, <laughs> but Wu-Tang, I mean, what, they recorded maybe one song for Death Row? No, they're signed to E1. And E1 was one of the companies that was owned by Hasbro. Well, I guess they're one of the little baby companies. Yeah, but companies. Even, even then, you're not getting the two good Wu-Tang albums. Yeah, you're getting, like, yeah. all the, the crappy third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Exactly. So, yeah. whatever. 300 mil. Eh, put it on the card. Red Man <laughs> is officially joining the Power Universe. 50 Cent's Star's Staple adds another legend. You knew, you knew Method Man was in there so far? Did you know that? Don't care. No. Another legend from the rat world to its cast with Red Man coming on board for Power Book 2 Ghosts Season 2, which is currently filming following an electric first season. Fittingly enough, Red Man was cast in the role of a character named Theo Rollins, who is actually the older brother of the conniving lawyer known as Davis McLean in the show, played by his 420 versus opponent, Method Man. Method Man's been in there playing this crooked lawyer, but that's going to be crazy to watch. Let's see. Run DMC is one of the only hip-hop groups to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and for good reason... Decades in their career, Run DMC is making history again by dropping a collection of artwork NFTs representing a limited edition vinyl album, another pioneering move for the group. Run DMC is releasing the NFTs featuring artwork by rising Los Angeles-based artist Rena Tolentino. With 12 on 12, the drop is to celebrate the 35th anniversary of their seminal 1986 album, Raising Hell, and pay tribute to Jam Master J. What is an NFT? It's a non-fungible token. I'll just put it really easy. It's Yeah, break it down for stupid people like me. It's a digital baseball card that only you would own. So say Run DMC took a picture. So it's worthless. No. They're actually making hundreds of millions of dollars now off of NFTs. And let's see. I, and in the story, there's it kind of goes into who else. There's a couple other people that have been doing... Oh, other artists who jumped on the NFT bandwagon are Snoop, ASAP Rocky, Hieroglyphics, Living Legends, MC8, Bobby Shmurda, and Jeezy. So it could be anything from... It, it's like owning... Uh, one copy of whatever they sell you. So it's kind of like you wanted that one Wu-Tang song that no one's ever heard. Well, guess what? For for a quarter of a million, you get the NFT of that song and only you can hear it and only you own it. You wouldn't pay so, a little so, bit. Of so then is there like a uh, a clause or a contract when you when you buy it then you can't uh, you can't sell it? No, you could sell it. This is this is how crazy it is. You can make your own DJ Casio NFTs with your mixes or anything that you wanted, designs, anything. And you could sell them for as much as people will bid for them. I might make a quarter. You Hey, quarter mil, you mean. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Let's see. It's been over two weeks since DMX passed away from a massive heart attack. Oh, I not believe... Finish the story. Let me see. Uh, one of Brooke, one of, uh, as DMX's red casket was paraded down the street in a black monster truck, thousands of people came out to show their support for the Rough Riders legend. But that was an all. During Sunday's home, com, homegoing celebration, Life Camp co-founder Erica Ford, community activist, and Priscilla. Etchy announced the New York State Senate had officially declared DMX's birthday, December 18th, 
Earl DMX Simmons Day. The New York State Senate has called December 18th DMX Earl Simmons Day. So we get a new uh, holiday, DMX Day. And I believe that is the news. You're the only one that will be celebrating that one. <laughs> hey, so uh, jumping back into it.